Welcome to our review on condensation polymers. So we've got this last type of polymer we need to know about called a condensation polymer. And they form in, surprisingly, a condensation reaction. In a condensation reaction, we've got two molecules that react together to form one larger molecule and one smaller molecule, which quite often is water. So to give you an example here, if we've got our carboxylic acid and an alcohol, then that will form an ester and water. So one larger molecule, one smaller, often water. So if we then put the names in, we've got ethanoic acid is our carboxylic acid. And we know that because it ends in anoic acid. We've got an alcohol, ethanol, ends in OL, is going to form the ester, which is a salt, ethyl ethanoate and water. So I've just given you the balance symbol equation at the bottom as well. So when our condensation polymers are forming through these condensation reactions, then they don't require a catalyst and they often occur at room temperature and pressure. So that's a key difference between our condensation polymers and our addition polymers. What we do need, though, is that the monomers for the condensation polymers to have two functional groups. So a good example of this would be in our proteins, which are obviously the amino acids joined together with their functional groups. So if we look at this in a little bit more detail, our amino acids have two functional groups. They've got the amino group, which is NH2, and the carboxyl group, COOH. So what we then do is we're going to join the monomers together. So the two amino acids will join together by those two functional groups. And they will then form what's called an amide group, which is CONH. So if you look at the diagram, it's perhaps easier to see it there. We start off with our first amino acid on the left and the second amino acid on the right. So they both have the amino group NH2 on the left hand side and a carboxyl group COOH on the right hand side. So that when those two amino acids join together in this condensation reaction, the oxygen and the hydrogen from the COOH of amino acid one will join with one of the hydrogens from the amino, the NH2, of amino acid 2. That means we're generating water because there's two hydrogens and an oxygen, and that carbon of amino acid 1 joins directly to the nitrogen of amino acid 2 to form the amide group. What we find is that we've got two main types of artificial condensation polymer, the polyesters and the polyamides. So we're going to have a look at each of those in turn. First one, the polyesters, are made from carboxylic acid with two carboxyl groups and an alcohol with two hydroxyl groups. So what we're going to do here is, as they join together, then they form many ester groups, hence the name polyester. Poly meaning many and ester referring to the ester groups. And these are incredibly useful to us because we use them in everything from clothing to fizzy drinks bottles. And at the bottom, I've just given you a section of polyester there with blue as one of our units and red as the other. And you can see that repeating pattern through the structure. The polyamides are made from a carboxylic acid with two carboxyl groups and an amine with two amino groups. So that when they join together, we form many amide groups, hence polyamide, many amide. And a good example of this would be nylon, which we use in everything from our clothing to the carpets in your house. Hopefully at the end of this video, you can explain the basic principles of condensation polymerization, and you can describe how we actually make the polymers through these condensation reactions.